Hello everyone. Well today I'm going to talk about painting with light and it's something you can do at home on your tabletop. I'll just talk through a few tools that you need, basic tools that are going to help you along. What? How are you going to light your subject is with torches. So we've got different sizes, big one, medium size. And this very small one is really useful. If you make yourself a little paper cone like that, put the light on, shine it into the cone. And if I wanted to just paint this big torch, I've got lots of control. And you see how it's just picking out small areas. And this is what painting with light is. You're picking out little areas and you've got total control because you're going to do it in a darkened room so that there's no other light source other than what you're creating. So I'm going to try and make this as achievable as possible just working from home, not needing a fancy studio or anything. But you will actually need a tripod. Now if you don't have access to a tripod, always use a tabletop because it's, you're going to need a long exposure. And we're going to need an exposure time, probably about 30 seconds, which if you're lucky and you've got access to a DSLR, we can set this to 30 seconds, no problem. If you don't, maybe you've got access to a compact camera. Most of the time you can set these onto manual and get 30 seconds. Now, if you've only got your mobile phone, potential problems there in order to have that control over the exposure you need to download an app which um, could cost you a bit of money hopefully we can get by with these two items so I found what I think is one of the darkest rooms in the house which happens to be a bedroom uh, I know it's not dark just yet but it's going to be so what we need to do is set the camera for 100 ISO and set the shutter speed for a 30th of a second and then the next thing we need to do we need to do a test so basically we're going to fire the camera in total darkness to check that it's not going to be picking up any ambient light from any windows that perhaps aren't properly uh, blacked out so we've got the camera on 100 ISO, shutter speed a 30th of a second. So we're going to uh, choose an aperture say 11 or f22 and we're going to take a test shot and we're going to find out if that test shot is completely black. If it is that means there's no light getting into the room from your window. Ideally you want to do this at night time but I'm, I'm actually doing it during the day. So I've had to black out all the windows. So I look at the test shot, if it's black, that's great. That means that the only light source that will be lighting your subject are the torches. So that's good, we've got total blackness. And there's the camera. That's what we're going to light. So I'm going to set the camera to 30 seconds and start painting it, keeping things moving, working all around the subject, get some light from this side, paint it the front, just keep it moving all around the subject. exposure finished so now we need to just have a look and see what we've got now here's another one that could be quite interesting because it has a lot of shiny bits on it so I'm going to set the camera going and be 
careful with your granny's tea set. Oh dear. Makes me nervous this, but there's lots of nice colour in this. And I thought it might just pick out really well. So the key is to keep things moving. And try and get every little bit that you can. Get the shiny bits in particular because they'll really stand out nicely. So keep it moving. And that's the exposure finished. And we can have a look see what we've got. Now if you wanted to add some colour to your painting with light, I've got this, it's just it's just an ice tray basically, rubber ice tray. But what you can do is shine light through it and give your subject a bit of extra colour. Now this particular shot with the guitar, I'm going to have to break the exposure time up into thirds because I'm going to use three different light sources in fact three different colours so I'll use the first torch 10 seconds exposure then the second torch three through this shine onto there another 10 seconds exposure and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the other side and with the big torch again I'm going to give a further 10 seconds exposure so in total we've got a 30 second exposure which is what we've been doing but hopefully we'll get an effect of a bit of red highlight here and yellow coming onto the uh, onto the music pages <laughs> So as you can see it's such a slow process but through trial and error you can get some really lovely results and all I've used is big torch, middle sized torch, little baby torch, homemade cone, some kind of a cagoule, I'm not sure what that is, a bit of coloured paper and that's all you really need, that's all I've used. I've managed to find a bit of uh, fancy paper here for a background for something but it's all stuff you can find around the house so it's worth the effort I think basic tools that are going to help you along the, 